let's get started. Um, hello, welcome to the 2022 LD4 conference on linked data, linking global knowledge. My name is Paloma Graziani Picardo, and I'm going to facilitate this lightning talk session, peer-to-peer -peer learning in linked data. Um, the talk will be followed by a very quick uh, Q&A session. Um, before I introduce our speaker, I have a few resources of interest for the attendees to help you navigate the conference. And I'm also going to be pasting those links on the chat so that um, everybody can have access to them easily. So you have uh, a link to the website conference. Um, and there uh, is also a link to the code of conduct. Um, violations of the code of conduct can be reported anonymously and the conference team will work as quickly, quickly as possible to address them. Uh, we are using the hashtag LD4 2022 for Twitter and other social media. And there is also a dedicated Slack workspace for this year's conference. So the link is there. There is a channel for tech support. So don't hesitate asking for help if you need it. Um, and if you want to continue the conversation after the session, uh, there is a, a specific channel for this uh, session. So I encourage everybody to join. Uh, the session is being recorded and the recording will be available on the LD4 YouTube channel. And the link is also on the chat now. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And Kara, you can go ahead and share your screen. And I'm going to introduce you very quickly now. So um, um, for this session, we have Kara Long talking about the work of the Virginia Tech Libraries Linked Data Interest Group. Kara Long is the coordinator of metadata technologies in the university libraries at Virginia Tech. Her her current research is focused on methods for engaging community partners in the design and development of culturally relevant metadata practices. Kara, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Paloma. Um, hi, I'm Kara, and I'm going to talk to you today about a group that I've been facilitating in the library to help support and encourage peer-to-peer -peer learning and group learning about linked data. The Virginia Tech Libraries Linked Data Interest Group began meeting towards the end of 2020, and we met on a monthly basis. We still do. The only criteria for joining the group is that you have an interest in linked data. Um, and to my knowledge, this has been the first group of its kind organized in the library with the express purpose of learning about and exploring linked data. At the outset, we decided that the group would not have a firm research agenda or an expected outcome or output other than to learn and provide an opportunity for us to learn from each other. This took the pressure off um, without being charged with developing a pilot project or a proof of concept on a tight timeline. The prospect of joining the group was less intimidating. And anecdotally, I think um, it encouraged others to join who had an interest in linked data but hadn't had an opportunity yet to gain very much experience. We used one of our first meetings to write a group charge. And our charge is, the Virginia Tech University Libraries Linked Data Interest Group seeks to identify opportunities to learn about and experiment with linked data in the Virginia Tech libraries. We will identify areas where library collections may benefit from engagement with linked data, identify obstacles, and develop next steps. So um, just to give you a general idea about who we are and how we got started, um, we represent both library faculty and library staff, folks who are both early career and mid-career, folks who are based in diverse units across the library system that includes sort of cataloging and metadata services, scholarly communications, our digital collections and digital library group, digital preservation, special collections and university archives, and data application support. So this range of experience also represents a range of ways that each person approaches metadata and also has, they have different interests in linked data. We started with some introductory reading together 
And we really functioned more as a reading group than a group of practice in the beginning. Um, we attended the LD4 conference, we watched tutorials, um, we were part of the Society of American Archivists Linked Data Principles and Practices programming, and we kept an eye on the Program for Cooperative Cataloging or PCC Wikidata projects. Um, we created a shared document and a Slack channel um, with links to tools and resources and projects that we were excited about talking about and discussing. And this sort of became like a landscape scan of what was out there and what we were interested in. We also surveyed ourselves and created a list of metadata formats and workflows that members of the group had experience in in the library, um, which gave us a better sense of the metadata ecosystem at Virginia Tech and helped to determine if there were existing metadata workflows that might be amenable to linked data. So now what? Um, we developed a shared understanding of what linked data meant to us and to our group and what we were interested in. We had become familiar with projects and practical examples. Um, and so we were kind of ready to take things to the next stage. The focus of the group naturally shifted to basically two main questions. How can we get hands-on experience? and how could linked data help improve or enhance the library work that we were already doing or already engaged in. And we gave ourselves plenty of time to discuss. Um, there was an interest in doing something, not just having these discussions and reading groups. And two projects emerged um, out of that that engaged two different areas of the library. Um, and we wanted to use the expertise that we already had in the group. So we selected projects um, with data sets that we were already very familiar with. One is a Wikibase project and one was with Wikidata. Um, and I'm going to talk about the Wikidata project first. So um, like I said, we were interested in pursuing projects that would not require a lot of additional research. Um, so we selected a digital collection that was developed by our digital libraries and preservation team. It was a virtual gallery of images and information about featured artworks from the collection of the Taubman Museum of Art, which is in Roanoke, Virginia. It's about 45 minutes on the highway away from Virginia Tech. Three group members were part of this project team, and we came up with a project plan that had a pretty limited scope, which was just to add artworks and artists to Wikidata um, from this data set that didn't exist already. The project team um, had already engaged in research about the items in the collection and had a relationship with the Taubman um, should additional information be needed. The team evaluated existing collections metadata alongside entities and properties describing artworks already in Wikidata. Um, they looked at data models and best practices developed to guide other projects that also focus on art and artists like the Sum of All Paintings Wiki project and discussions raised in the LD4P Rare Materials Affinity Group. Also, the Art and Artists Files subproject of the PCC Smithsonian Libraries Wiki project was also a resource that we, we looked at. This work is ongoing. Um, the emphasis is really on building the knowledge and experience of the project team instead of contributing a specific number of entities um, to Wikidata. And so far, this has been successful. It's been a really good way for us to gain experience. Um, the project teams added and enhanced entities for artists and artworks um, with individual edits, linked those artists and artworks back to the Taubman Museum of Art um, Wikidata item, and have also been using um, this data set to help them develop um, experience using quick statements for batch editing and batch item creation. So um, the next project is uh, using Wikibase and Docker and is focused on developing a local authority file. The second project team was interested in using a local instance of Wikibase as a centralized place to access local authorities across the data silos that already existed within the library. So for example, personnel from special collections and archives, 
from the Virginia Tech Data Repository and VTech Works, which is our institutional repository, wanted to be able to standardize personal name headings across collections and across those various platforms um, instead of maintaining independent lists and spreadsheets and having to do reconciliation you know, every couple of years. After watching and discussing the recording of Wikibase Docker and You, which was presented to the LD4 Wikibase Working Hour by Jim Hahn in, I believe, March, um, the project team decided to run a local Wikibase instance and use that as a place to experiment how this, how we might model this. The team received technical support from Metadata Services and also our data services team with hosting the Wikibase instance. And the team took a similar approach to the Wikidata and Taubman collection group in that we looked at data models from other projects, such as the Stanford Libraries Data Models Wiki project for insight and inspiration um, as we started to create our own data models with Virginia Tech faculty and Virginia Tech affiliated researchers. So, peer-to-peer -peer and group learning success. Um, we started off more as a reading group and we became a place to experiment. We provided social, educational, and technological support to each other throughout the process. We were able to learn from each other. Um, also, uh, we looked a little bit into research about pair programming and body doubling as two strategies to encourage learning um, and retention of what we've learned. And so we've put that into practice as well as we've worked through group projects. Um, we've increased the awareness and knowledge of Wikidata, Wikibase, and other linked data concepts among our group. And we've also seen some real incremental value, um, even though our progress is slow, um, in that we have been able to make a more complete data set in Wikidata of what's in the Taubman Museum of Art collection, and also add um, source links and references back to the Taubman Museum of Art. And also the discussions around a shared authority file have uncovered a lot of similar pain points um, that we can work together towards solving instead of everyone sort of doing their own thing. Okay, so in the last 30 seconds, um, our next steps, we want to continue to be a place to experiment, but also continue um, some of the things from our reading group um, era where we are able to discuss um, reports and conference sessions together. Um, we're also interested in moving from a place to experiment to developing something that can be a proof of concept that can really demonstrate the value of using a local wiki based instance, for example, for authorities. And also um, interested in incorporating wiki data editing as part of our descriptive workflows for digital collections. We also want to continue engagement both in the library and look outwards towards community partnerships or collaboration, maybe building on the relationship we already have with a local art museum and what engagement on campus may look like. So thank you very much. And I'm happy to take questions and um, I'm happy to also take questions on Slack. Um, cool. Thanks so Thanks. It looks like uh, there's one question in the Q&A. Did you find people were able to connect the value of entering data in Wikidata to the cataloging work they do with OCLC in the local ILS? Yes. So one of the frustrations in particular that one of our project team members had in describing the artworks was that there was additional information that they felt didn't fit into like a Dublin core based data model that we were using for our digital collections platform and didn't have the capability in Mark to link those artworks to broader collections. Um, and so being able to use Wikidata, I think, was a lot more flexible and freed up um, that person to um, include links and references that they didn't feel like they were able to um, on our existing platforms. 
And I think the real value of it, like I think the group together, we had an aha moment when we started um, running some Sparkle queries on the data that we'd already contributed and people could start to see like, oh, we can ask questions of this data that we already have that we want to ask that we haven't really been able to do before. And so that was like a really big um, moment, I think, for us seeing the value of that work. Well, thanks so much, Cara. Um, thanks for sharing the work that you guys are doing. Peer-to-peer um, -peer learning, it's it's um, really exciting opportunity. Uh, and I bet that there's uh, many groups and on different environments that are, are <clears throat> trying to like follow the same approach. Um, we are already on time, but I'm going to post again the the link to Slack so that the conversation can continue on Thank Slack. Thank you. And thanks everybody so much for coming today.